All right. Good morning, yogis. Nice to have you in this virtual space with me <laughs> as we continue to experiment with new ways of connecting and still keeping our practice alive and well. So I'm happy to hold that space for you in whatever space you're physically in, um, engaging in your practice. So thanks for your commitment to be here. Um, so just like our classes, as we normally do, let's start coming into a comfortable seat. Um, I do have my props with me today, so if you do have blocks, please use them as needed. So either your Sukhasana, cross-legged, hips higher than the knees, or you're welcome to come to Varasana, a kneel, energetically drawing the knees in, inner thighs, and then the inner parts of the feet just resting up against the side of your block. So just starting to tap into the space that allows you to arrive most presently. Just taking a moment to sense and observe if the body would like to move or adjust in any way. So obviously we're welcoming ourselves into a new day. So we just check in to see if we need to awaken a little more, maybe through a couple twists. Maybe if there's any tension that's built up over the past days in the wrist from work, anything in the neck over our sleep, if we need to open and close the jaw for a minute, let some of that tension go. So that once we start to slow down this movement, we begin to more consciously settle into stillness where you feel evenly rooted through both sit bones. Just slightly leaning back through the upper space of the back as you lower the shoulders away from the ears. And then wherever you are, taking a full deep inhale in. And then exhale out through the mouth. So holding space for yourself to arrive for yourself to shift from the state of doing into the state of simply being. This is a change that we're experiencing right now in this moment and observing what that feels like to shift from the state of moving, doing whatever it was prior to arriving and coming to this place where all that is needed is just simplicity of stillness. Simplicity of welcoming in the present moment. No need for complexity around story and how we're arriving or why, but just observing what is the context of the here and the now for you. And so we notice the natural landscape of the environment as we observe things like sound, temperature, the presence of light. And then from that outer awareness, we start to zoom in and begin to sense our own body in space. Noticing foundations where we feel most heavy in the body, most rooted, connected to the earth. What does that connection feel like? The more we start to scan the physical landscape of the body and notice pockets of sensation, flowing of energy, We start to bring our attention to our breathing. And today we're going to bring the right palm to the belly and we're going to bring the left palm right over the heart. So this connection of one part of body meeting up against another part of the body. Noticing what that connection feels like. So not only just in feeling the breath, expanding, contracting, but maybe even notice sensation. Is there a tingling as you feel this placement of the hands? 
over the belly, over the heart? Is there a temperature? And as you breathe in and out, first starting from the base of the belly, and just starting to feel that gentle rhythm, the air allowing the belly to expand on inhalation. And on the exhalation, the air starts to soften, release. So where our palm lies, that's at the chakra, the energy center that governs Manipura. And this is the chakra that's all about our personal power, our confidence, our courage. Holding space for that own inherent quality, qualities within you to come forward. The color here is yellow. So as you breathe in and out, breathing in this color of yellow into that space in the belly. And then journeying up to feel the palm that's resting over the heart. And we're connecting now, holding space for Anahata. And that is our heart chakra. So the one that governs all things love, compassion. And it encompasses not only the external love, but also that self-love. The color here is green. It's a nice emerald green. So as you breathe in through the breath, feeling the chest open, expand, just visualizing that color. And so we're going to maintain some somatic awareness to our breath and feeling the palms up against the belly and chest. So today, as you inhale, we're gonna start from the base of the belly and actually feel the belly pooch out. So you're gonna feel that expansion kind of rest into the palm. And then as you continue the inhalation, we're gonna move it up to the chest. So similarly, we're gonna feel the chest really expand and open. We'll pause the breath at the top of the inhale and then on the exhale, we're gonna move our way down. So from the chest, we'll feel the deflating, that journey down, we'll feel the belly start to pull in again. So we'll start together. So inhale, breathing in through the nose, feeling the belly pooch out. Continue that breath up to the chest. Full expansion, pause, hold. From the top of the breath, slowly feel the chest release. Allow that breath to move down to the belly, pulling the navel in. Inhale, pooching the belly out. Puffing through the chest, pause, hold. Exhale, releasing through the chest, pulling the belly in. Inhale, allowing the belly to fill out. Draining up to the chest, pause, hold. Slowly release, feeling the air soften through the chest, pulling the navel in. Now let's take an inhale to feel everything expand and open. And then an exhale, open mouth. Again, inhale, everything open. And exhale, open mouth. One more like this. And exhale, open mouth. I'm gonna remove the palms. Inhale, palms face up, palms press. And then exhale, gathering hands to heart and Anjali Mudra. And just taking a moment to sit in this place of feeling the hands in front of your center at Anjali Mudra, this place of bowing to ourselves in arrival, thanking yourself for creating the space in your morning to be here. And holding in between your palms an intention, something that feels purposeful, something that feels meaningful for you to explore, to be curious about in your practice this morning. And holding kindness, non-judgment for yourself. So especially at a time like this, where there might be a lot of threads of thoughts moving in and out of our awareness, knowing that this is natural, and just knowing that with the anchors of our intention, with our breath. 
You can come back to the body, come back to the present moment. Slowly lifting the gaze of the eyes if they're closed, we're gonna come forward into a tabletop, just like class. <laughs> I'm gonna get some music going and we're gonna dive right in. As you come to the front of your mat, we're arriving into a tabletop, so finding the shoulders directly over the wrists and the hips directly over the knees. All right, so from here, let's start to begin to tuck left ball of toe into the mat. We're going to extend, glide that leg back in space. Now from here, feel the sensation of that left hip peeling up, and then we're gonna draw it back and down. Keeping the abdominals pulled in, begin to lift the back leg off of the mat. From here, taking a breath, and then exhale, contract, knee into nose. Inhale, finding length, finding extension, and exhale, contract. Again, inhale, finding length, and exhale, contract. We're gonna extend the leg back in space. Now checking in with peeling the right hand off of the mat. Now we're just gonna pause, feeling sensation, feeling your energy centers, what needs to support you in this balance. We'll take one more inhale. Exhale, lowering the palm, lowering the left knee. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale, contract, pulling the knee away. Again, inhale, broadening through the shoulders, open heart, and exhale, contract. Maybe one more like this, inhale, and exhale. Now finding that neutral spine, so that place where the navel's pulling in, still broad through the shoulders. Tucking right ball of toe, extending, gliding that leg back. Now feel the difference of the right hip popping up, and then drilling it down in space. From here, begin to lift the back leg behind you long, finding your breath. And then inhale, breathing here. Exhale, contract, knee into nose. Inhale, even grounding this through the palms. And exhale, contract. Again, inhale. And exhale, pulling. Standing that leg back in space and then peeling left hand off. Just find the difference of stillness. Notice what has to activate, but also what at the same time can be soft. Taking another breath. Exhale, lowering the palm, lowering the knee. Now just get a little more fluid with your cat and cow. Maybe this is finding different ways of moving, shifting from side to side. Maybe it's some circles that begin to happen. We're just checking in with our own body. So where are the points that need to find a little more space? Just one more cycle of wherever you're moving, wherever you're exploring. Okay, and then from here, we're going to slowly begin to tuck balls of toes under. Lift the hips high, still keeping the knees bent. You need to walk your hands forward just slightly. That's totally fine. And then energetically feeling the chest coming closer to the tops of the thighs. From here, can you hike the tailbone just a little bit higher? Taking another breath, inhale. And then exhale, straightening the legs, lowering the heels down. Inhale up to the balls of the toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, the heels are gonna come over to the right side, so we're finding a little twist. Up to the balls of the toes, square off the hips, inhale. Exhale, bending the knees. Inhale, shifting heels over to the left. And exhale, pause. Up to the balls of the toes, square hips, inhale. We're gonna roll through the spine, exhale, plank pose. Hips high, still up to the balls of the toes. Exhale, rolling through, coming into your plank. Again, hips high. Exhale, rolling through, coming into your plank. Making sure the shoulders are still right over the wrists. We're gonna breathe here, inhale. Exhale, knees lower down, still keeping the belly in. Inhale, straight legs. And exhale, knees lower. 
Again, inhale and exhale, knees lower. From here, inhale. Exhale, we're going to come back to puppy for a moment. So just a little shake, a little sway from side to side. And then from here, start to lower the forearms down to your mat. We're going to extend the legs back. We're in a modified plank. Broad through the shoulders. Inhale, just a check, lifting the right ball with toe up. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting left ball with toe up. And exhale, lowering down. Again, right, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Good. And exhale. We're going to lower the knees. Lower the top of the hips, coming into a sphinx pose. So of course, we're still just warming up the body. So finding that balance of meeting your edge, but not pushing past. The key here, pressing into the forearms, broad through the shoulders, crown of the head reaching forward. Taking a breath, inhale, and exhale, slowly lowering the chest. Pressing into the palms, gluing the elbows in towards the ribs, tucking the balls of the toes. Inhale, exhale, coming into plank pose. Just as we did, inhale, lifting right ball with toe up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting left. And exhale, lower down. One more to the right, inhale. Exhale, lower down. One more to the left, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Lifting the hips, downward facing dog. Now just taking a couple moments to paddle up the feet, anything that feels good. A little sway, whatever is needed. All right, and we're gonna walk the hands towards the back of your mat, coming into Uttasana. So deep bend in the knees to start, and grabbing for opposite elbows, finding that sway, rocking from side to side. Let's take a full breath in, inhale, and exhale, open mouth. Next, inhale, finding a halfway lift. So hands come to shins, tops of thighs or to the earth. Crown of the head reaching forward, inhale, and exhale, bow. We're going to root to rise, arms out, palms press, and then exhale, samasitihi, hands to heart. Take a moment to pause, maybe even close the eyes. You're in equal groundedness through the feet, strength through the thighs, open heart, soft face. We're going to sweep the arms around and up, palms press. Exhale right into Ukatasana, chair pose. So the weight is coming back, navel pulling in, biceps straining the ears. Taking a breath, inhale, and exhale, full release. Halfway lift, inhale, and exhale, full. Let's begin to walk the hands back out. We're coming into a plank pose. From our plank pose, inhale, lifting right ball of toe up. Exhale, contract, knee into nose. Finding the hover, inhale, exhale, contract. Again, finding hover, inhale, exhale, contract. From here, we're going to lower the right shin, ground into the left foot, begin to reach, extend the left arm high. Now, focusing on that left hip, peeling open, and then the shoulders stacking on top of one another. Begin to tent up to the right fingers, Find the balance, arms open up to a T. Begin to glide the left hand down the leg, reaching the right arm up and over. Breathing into the side body, continuing to spiral open the torso. Taking another breath, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna windmill the hands down. Pivot the back heel right into plank pose. Inhale, lifting left ball and toe. Exhale, contract. Finding the hover, inhale, and exhale, contract. Again, inhale, and exhale, contract. Lowering the left shin, ground into the right foot, reaching the right arm high. Same thing, continue to peel that right hip open, shoulder stacking. Begin to tent up to the left fingers with control, arms open out to a Taking your time, gliding the right hand down the back leg, reaching the left arm up and over, rotating, spiraling the torso. Taking another inhale, exhale. We're gonna windmill the hands down, pivot the back, heel right into plank pose, pause, hold. 
pressing away from your mat, inhale. Exhale, lowering down, Chaturanga. Pressing through and up, knee cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Taking about three breaths, feeling your feet grounded, palms rooted. Noticing the natural flow and rhythm of inhale in and exhale out. From here, we're gonna start to extend the right leg back in space. Perfect, focusing on those square hips. So as we did before, let's feel the difference of the right hip peeling open and then it drawing down. From there, inhale, lift the leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. And anything that feels good here, if you want to circle the ankle, you want to circle through the hip, We're just getting into all of the areas that need a little more attention. Now we're going to square off the hips, inhale, lengthen the leg long and high. Exhale, we're going to bring the foot through, release the back knee, top of the foot. Now just initially trying to find that space of shifting forward and back and eventually where we feel the right hip drawing back just enough so that the hips are square. From there, begin to bring the palms right by the hips. From this place, we're going to send the arms through and up, palms press, and then exhale, the fingers are going to point behind you. Inhale, finding length, fingers up, and exhale, bending. Inhale, good, and exhale, bending. We're gonna take an inhale, exhale, the hands are gonna come down. Now if you have a block handy, grab one, otherwise working on planting the palm or touching through the fingers. So I'm gonna show with the block. So you're gonna bring the hand to the block, hugging energetically, right knee in towards the outer part of your arm. We're gonna extend, reach the left arm high. Focusing as much as you can on keeping the shoulders lining up. One more inhale, and then exhale, both hands down. Removing the block, tucking back ball of toe under, engaging back leg straight. Up to the fingertips, finding that long line of energy, crowd of the head down the back heel. Taking a breath, inhale. Exhale, both hands down. Feet step back, moving through your vinyasa. Great. Meeting together, downward facing dog. Begin to extend the left leg back in space. Again, feel the difference. Left hip peeling open and then a drawing down. From there, begin to lift the leg. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. Choice is yours. Again, if you'd like to find some hip opening movement, get some ankle circles. And then we'll square off the hips, lengthen inhale. Exhale, foot comes through. Release back knee, top of foot. Again, just that transfer of weight forward, back. We're starting to feel into the space where that left hip draws back enough so that the hips are square. Once we find it, starting to take the palms right by the hips. From there, we'll start to sweep the arms up, palms press, and exhale, fingers point behind you. Taking a breath, inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. I'm gonna take an inhale and exhale, hands lower. Again, taking your block if you have it or tenting or grounding into the left hand. So the left hand is in the instep, or sorry, yeah, the left hand is in the instep of the left leg. And so peeling, rooting the inner thigh in towards the outer left arm. Begin to peel, right palm up towards the sky. Finding your breath here. We'll take one more inhale and exhale, both hands down. Let's remove the block. Curl back, toes under, engage back leg straight, coming to the tips of your fingers. Long line of energy, keeping the navel drawing in. Take another breath. And exhale, both hands down. Feet step back, moving through your vinyasa. Meeting down or facing dog. On your next inhale, reaching the right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the head. 
Square off, inhale. Exhale, knee into nose. Finding length, inhale. Exhale, knee into nose. Again, finding length, inhale. Exhale, knee into nose. We're gonna bring the foot through. Release back knee, top of foot. Grabbing your block or tenting, grounding into the left hand. This time we're gonna sweep the right arm through and up, coming into a twist. Now focus here on still keeping the hips nice and fixed, rotating from the navel. Taking another breath, inhale. Exhale, both hands down. If you have both blocks, we're gonna come into baby Hanuman. So beginning to straighten the front leg, drawing the hips back in space. Now, seeing if you can send the hips in one direction, the crown of the head in the opposite. Find your max, and then breathe deeply into it. Notice sensation arising, passing. Okay, let's re-bend in the front knee. We're gonna take our blocks over to the side, curling back toes under, engaging back leg straight. We're gonna send the palms forward. The palms are pressing. So we're in this kind of like a very strong lightning bolt position here. And then we're gonna send the torso up. Now we're in our crescent lunge. Now, same as we did in low lunge. Inhale, exhale, fingers point back. Inhale, finding length. And exhale, fingers point down. Again, inhale. And exhale down. Inhale, exhale, coming forward. Removing the palms, and then we're gonna lower left hand and step of right foot, sweeping, coming into the chest. Taking a breath here, inhale, and exhale, both hands down. Feet step back, moving through your vinyasa. Meeting together, grounding your feet, your palms. Inhale, lengthening leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the head. Square off, inhale. Exhale, knee into nose. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, contract. Again, inhale. And exhale. Pulling the foot through, keeping up on the back heel. Arms are coming forward, pressing the palms. Very slowly begin to lift the body up. We're in our crescent lunge. Taking a breath, inhale. Exhale, fingers point down. Inhale, extend. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, coming forward, removing the palms. The right hand, instep of the left foot, sweeping the left arm down around you. Continuing to rotate from the navel. Inhale, exhale, both hands down. Release back knee, coming into your baby Hanuman. Driving the left hip back in space. Long length through the spine. Taking one more breath. Good. And exhale, bend the front knee, remove your blocks. Plant into the palms, right into plank pose, pause, hold. Taking a breath here, and then exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. From here, we're going to inhale, reach right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. Square up, inhale. Exhale, foot comes through, grand back heel, coming into your Virabhadrasana two. Now today, we're gonna evolve. So coming into the cactus shape with your arms, taking a breath, inhale, exhale, as the palms and the forearms come in, buttoning the ribs. Inhale, open, exhale, button, pull it in. Again, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna inhale. Exhale, lowering the right forearm, and then begin to extend and stretch. Left arm up and overhead, we're in modified. Finding your breath. All right, from here we'll revisit. Warrior two, into reverse, inhale. 
exhale, we're gonna windmill the hands down. Get at the back heel, square off the hips, into the twist, inhale. Exhale, both hands down. Can you step back, vinyasa? Meeting together, sending the left leg up, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the head. Square off, inhale. Exhale, foot comes through, ground back here. Here, Madrasana two. Gonna face you guys. All right, so from here, start to evolve, coming into the cactus. Inhale, and exhale, bend the ribs. Inhale, open. Exhale. Again, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, lowering left forearm, right arm comes up and over. Now make sure that that left shoulder is drawing away from the left ear, so avoiding this. Pressing down and away. Finding your breath. Coming into warrior two, into reverse. Taking a breath here, inhale and exhale, windmilling the hands down. Square up through your hips, pivot back, heel into the twist. Taking a breath, inhale. Exhale, both hands down. Feet step back, blow it out. Feet together, downward facing dog. So we get to peel up to the balls of the toes, bend the knees, look forward, walk or float, front of your mat release. Gonna come into a halfway lift. Inhale and exhale, fold. Ukatasana, chair pose. Weight coming back in the heels, navel in, bicep terminators. Taking a breath, inhale. Exhale, open mouth, elbows to ribs. Staying a little deeper, extend, inhale, and exhale. Sitting a little deeper, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna rise up just for a moment, inhale. Exhale, bend in the knees, palms come to heart. Begin to shift weight over to that left standing leg, crossing the right up and over. Sitting back into the hips. Okay, wonderful. From here, we're gonna inhale, lengthen the knee up, arms up. Exhale, sitting right back into it. Again, inhale, and exhale, right back into it. This time, inhale, exhale, the foot's gonna come off of your mat, then the palms are gonna come by the hips. From here, we're just gonna start to come into a twist. So we're wrapping the palms. So the left hand come to the outer left hip, right hand, outer thigh. And just finding a little twist. Ooh, hopefully you're feeling this in your quadriceps, breathing into that sensation. All right, let's come back with the arms by the hips. Inhale, length the knee up. And exhale, Ukatasana chair pose. Breathing. And exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, rinse it out. Bend the knees, root to rise, palms press. Exhale, sit back in the hips, hands to heart. Shifting weight over to the right standing leg, crossing left over. Feel into the hips coming back in space, staying true to your breath. All right, let's move a little bit. Inhale and exhale, come right back. Again, inhale, finding length. And exhale, sitting deep. Good, inhale this time. Exhale, bringing the foot back, arms come by the hip. So this leg, foot I should say, is off of the mat, great. Now from here, we're gonna take the hands, outer parts of the legs, just finding a little twist. Feeling, leaning into your breath. When those uncomfortable moments come up, Rather than resisting them, how can we breathe even deeply into them? All right, slowly shifting back, arms to the hips. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, Ukatasana. Taking a breath, inhale. Exhale, fold, release. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now having a block handy, if you'd like, 
going to take it forward, rounding into the left hand, right leg straight, left knee bent, coming into a twist. Taking a breath, inhale, and exhale, release, bend both knees, take a moment. Then we'll start to ground into that right hand, bend in the right knee, left leg straight. Taking another inhale and exhale, release, bend both knees. Maybe shake the head yes and no for a minute, just checking in with any residual holding that's collected, maybe flutter the lips. All right, and then taking any props away, we'll come back into a plank pose and vinyasa. All right, from downward facing dog, inhale, reaching right leg up. Exhale, knee into nose. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, outside body, right triceps. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, crossing over the body. We're gonna extend the leg out, ground into the right hand, lifting the left arm high. Breathing, continuing to press the hips open, heart open. One more inhale. Exhale, both hands down. Hold the knee and inhale. Exhale, foot comes through. We're gonna ground the back heel. And really square off through the hips to start, just as we did. Palms forward, long line of energy here. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, open, coming into Virabhadrasana 2. We're gonna come into reverse, but before we do, we're gonna find the half bind, that left arm coming around, reaching the right arm up. Gaze looks towards the back here. Taking a breath, inhale. Exhale, coming into modify. Staying right here. You want to work with a full expression. Hand comes down or to a block. You want to go further, starting to thread right arm underneath, finding your full bind. Making sure the chest is opening. We're not looking down, we're looking up. Taking another inhale. Great. Exhale. Hands forward, square off the hips, low lunge, inhale. Exhale a little deeper into the hamstrings. We're gonna lift the hips, maybe flex the front foot. You need your blocks, grab those, inhale. Exhale, hips high. And again, inhale. And exhale, hips high. And we're gonna find a re-bend in the front knee, plant the palms, feet step back. Rinse it out, vinyasa. All right, I'm gonna shimmy around for the other side. Left leg reaches up, inhale. Exhale, knee into nose. Keeping the breath continuous, inhale. Exhale, outside body. Continuous movement, inhale. Exhale, extend that leg out. Ground into the left hand, right arm which is high. So you need to lift, open the shoulders, your heart, your hips, one more inhale. Exhale, both hands down. Pull the knee in, inhale. Exhale, foot comes through. Start to ground the back heel. Square off the hips as much as you can. Starting to reach the arms forward, palms press. Now very slowly starting to rise, Vira 1, exhale, Vira Bhadrasana 2. Right away, let's start to wrap the right arm, find the half bind, into reverse as we come in, looking towards the back. Taking another breath, deep bend in the front knee, exhale, modify, keeping the bind. Working either here, maybe full expression, hand down. Maybe here, maybe you start to thread, find the full line. Keeping the chest drawing open. Taking another breath. And exhale, release both hands forward, square off the hips. Low lunge, pull the heart through. 
exhale, hips high, straight in front leg. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, hips high. Again, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hips high. This time we're going to re-bend in the front knee. We're going to actually walk to the side of your mat. Let's come into a halfway lift, so lengthen spine. And then exhale, fold. Start to find a deep bend in the knees. And shift the weight ever so slightly to the balls of the toes. From there, see if you can lift the tailbone higher. And then from there, start to straighten the legs. Watching the flow of your breath. Coming into a halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, one more fold. This time choosing to stay in stillness, maybe a different placement in the hands. Or maybe you move, maybe it's from side to side. I try to do at least one of these poses a day. It's really great for calming the nervous system, aiding in focus. Brings new blood flow. Okay. Halfway lift, inhale. And then exhale, we're just gonna bend the knees, walk to the front of your mat, plant the palms, feet step back, flow it out, always an optional downward facing dog. Coming right. Take a couple breaths, gonna check on our time. And just maybe closing the eyes as you're in your downward facing dog. Feeling the firm roots of the feet, the palms. And then we're going to inhale, reach the right leg up. Exhale, knee to outer body, so the right tricep. Now we're just going to place that foot to the outer edge of the mat, keeping the back leg extended straight behind you. So either to the palms, come here, or you can come all the way down to the forearms. The key though, let's keep that back leg straight. Notice the difference when the back leg is straight. We work a lot with the back knee bent. It's a different experience when we find that straightening effect. So just breathing into that sensation. Now wherever you are, begin to lower the back knee, top of the foot. Maybe just a little sway from side to side. And then see where you can commit to stillness, dropping the head, releasing, finding your breath. All right, we're gonna find a little twist. So if at any point if you're on the forearms and need to come back up to the hands, no problem. But we're gonna keep that left forearm rooted. We're gonna to start to peel, reach the right arm. Now you can stay here, you can come into that half bind. Watching the breath. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, forearms back down if they were there. We'll all meet with the palms connected. Heel, toe, front foot back to the center line of your body. Curling back toes under plank pose. Optional vinyasa or simply hips high. All right, from here, even grounded feet and then lifting, lengthening left leg. Exhale, knee to outer body. We're gonna bring the foot to the outer edge of the mat. Begin to straighten that back leg. Now again, maybe you're just on your palms. Maybe you come all the way down to the forearms. I'm just gonna to be to the palms for right now, so you can see. You can either come to that area planted or pronging. So again, it's all about how we can find the edge but not push past it. Now slowly beginning to lower the back knee, top of the foot, starting to soften, relax the head. This is truly a meditation of the body. So when we start to come into these deeper, more expressive poses, how are we 
observing the landscape of sensation, not fighting it, but welcoming it, embracing it. And maybe that little sway from side to side. All right, and then we're going to come into that little twist. So either grounded to the forearm or to your palm, we'll begin to extend, reach the left arm up, either just keeping the arm lifted or you can find the half line. One more inhale, exhale, both hands down, heel toe foot back to your center line, tuck back, ball a toe right into plank pose. Last and final vinyasa or hip side. We'll meet together, downward facing dog. Okay, so this next one requires a bit of arm awareness, I should say. Um, so if it feels too much to come into what I'm about to show, come to the knees and come to the forearms. Otherwise, we're gonna start to find that external rotation in the shoulders. From there, we lower the forearms down. In dolphin pose. Now, of course, if you have forearm balance in your practice, feel free, play around. Otherwise, we're building the strength for that forearm balance. Pressing down and away, lifting the tailbone high. All right, we're gonna slowly come down to the knees, hips back to the heels, resting in balasana, your shape. The knees can be in or out, and then just allowing the palms to come forward, resting the body. Watching the flow of your breath, watching what it feels like to move from effort to movement to, still, to stillness, use. Slowly beginning to lift the gaze, walk the hands back. Okay, then we're going to come to a brief kneel. So just allowing the hips to come back to the heels, palms rest gently on tops of the thighs. All right, from here, either way, either right hand down, left hand down, we're going to sway over to whatever that hip is. Bend the knees, hips come forward. We're going to take the hands underneath that space just behind the knee, and then start to shift weight onto the sits bones, lifting the legs up. So finding the balance here, this is enough. If you'd like to extend the arms out. If you'd like to extend the arms high, maybe grabbing for the toes. And then you can play around with any variations here if you want to open and close the legs. Okay, now start to come back down to that 90 degree in the shins. I'm going to press the palms, inhale. Exhale, twisting over to the right. Using your breath, chest comes closer to the thighs. Exhale to the left. Inhale back through center. Exhale right. Inhale back. Exhale left. One more time each side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come back. Pull the knees in to cross the ankles. And now we're just grabbing for opposite knee. Just finding a little rest. Find a length in spine. Feel that sensation of pulling the knees in, allowing the spine to be long. And then from here, we're just going to slowly allow the knees to fall open. Begin to take the arms forward, finding length in the spine, crown of the head reaching forward. Now if you can reach a little bit further, find that edge, and then eventually we're rolling up and over.
slowly starting to lift the gaze. We're gonna walk the hands back. All right, from here, uncross, feet glued, bottoms of the feet, hands come back. So all 10 uh, toes and fingers pointing in the same direction. Start to bend at the elbows, lift the hips for coming into a reverse tabletop. Three breaths here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Slowly lower, take your time. Cross at the ankles, sitting up nice and tall. And just find a length and spine here for a moment. You shift from side to side. Okay, and then settle in once more. Trying to roll up through the spine. Ah, okay, from right here, we're gonna come back to the bottoms of the feet grounded, arms reach forward, pulling the navel in as we slowly lower all the way down to our mat. Eventually feeling the backs of the shoulders, the arms, the back of the head, and then start to pull the knees in towards the chest realigning the spine. So as you do so in this nice hug and embrace, make sure the tailbone is still rooted. Just a little swaying from side to side. Taking your body for all of its strength, all of its support throughout your asana work. Okay, we'll start to interlace the first two fingers around the big toes, knees open, and then coming into your happy baby. I'm feeling here that the hips again are popping up, but we're really gluing them down. You can extend one leg out, you can extend the other leg out. You need a lion's breath, sticking out the tongue. All right. And then from here, slowly starting to come into your final savasana. If you have blocks, you know my students, they know if you'd like to come into your client's Supta Bhattakarasana, just bring in the blocks underneath the knees. I'm just slowly starting to feel the body surrender, starting to let go, all the effort lets go. So we start to feel the bones becoming heavier. We start to feel the muscles release. Any scrunching or pinching in the skin begins to soften. We just start to come back to our breath more consciously. The stillness of the body, watching the movement of your breath. As you create space by letting go, allowing yourself to let back in your intention that you set. Feeling it flow and move throughout your body.
So the beauty of the practice is that we always have this reminder and this opportunity to begin again. The mat and the practice has this way of holding space for us where we can just start to leave our worries, leave some of the stuff, the junk that we're trying to work with, trying to transform into a new energy, a more content, peaceful energy. And the practice and the tools of this practice always allow us to come closer to those spaces of santosha, contentment, peace. So as you rest just for a moment longer, feeling yourself embrace this new energy shift. So even if you're feeling subtle shifts or maybe shifts that aren't really coming to the surface quite yet. Knowing that the practice has also this residual way of moving with us like after all the work has been done. I'm taking a moment as we did in the beginning of practice to feel one palm over the belly, one palm over the heart, feeling the breath. Feeling these energy centers of personal power, love, menopora, yellow at the belly, anahata, green at the space over the heart. Right now, the world and ourselves really needs this reminder of our own power and confidence to be resilient, no matter what externally is going on. Really just tuning into the space of love. So love for our own self-care, the self-care of others, and how we are practicing good awareness in this time. And just really breathing into the space of community, sending love outwardly so that we all can be healthy, well, at peace. We'll just take a full breath in and a full breath out. Moving the palms, other awakening movements if you're still in Savasana, moving the fingers, moving the toes, maybe a little rocking of the head from side to side. And then if still in Savasana, breathing the arms up over the head, pulling the knees in towards the chest, inhale. And then exhale, rolling over to one side of your mat. Feeling the earth underneath the body, holding you with support, with safety. You are safe. And then pressing away from the earth to come to a nice tall seat where we began. Bringing your hands together and line in front of heart center, Anjali Mudra. 
Thank you for holding space for yourself to be here, for being curious about your practice, continuing to um, explore maybe some spaces that are very needed. We know the physical practice where the body is holding stress, but also being open to how the practice starts to illuminate and bring to the surface things that you might be unconsciously resisting. So knowing that we're all in this human experience together and we have the practice and the tools here to come back closer to ourselves, peel back the layers, being reminded of the inner love that exists within us, the inner love that is us. And taking a final moment to hold your intention and knowing that this practice encourages us to not leave the intention here on the map, but rather how can we start to bring this intention with us back out into our lives, into our day, into our relationships. Starting to generate heat through the palms, this new prana, and allowing this heat to cup over the top of the face, down the face, into a bow. The light and the teacher in me bows to the light and the teacher in you. We bow to ourselves, to one another, to this practice, and to all sentient beings everywhere. May all beings be happy, free, and at peace. Loka, samasta, sukino, babanchu. Namaste. All right, thank you very much, yogis. Um, take very good care. I'm going to continue to explore this uh, virtual space of teaching. It's very exciting though that we have these tools so that we can still support you. So um, please stay tuned for next Tuesday and Thursday, in addition to my meditation classes, which I'll continue to share on my social media handles. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.